Hey, it's Cold Eastwood. Let's talk without a script. Let's just talk candidly about the Xbox Scorpio reveal price that's coming in about a week for E3. I keep thinking about this, and I was just talking to some other gamers about the possible price for the Scorpio, and a lot of people are saying $399. I put out one of those tweets that you can vote on. I said, do you think it's going to be $399, $499, or $799? And I got most votes at the $399, and I was really starting to doubt that the Scorpio could really be a $400 console with all that it's offering. But let's look at it this way. The Xbox One S sold last year, the one terabyte model, for $300. And what did it do differently? Actually, not much except for the 4K Blu-ray player. As much as we've looked at the Xbox One S parts, the 4K Blu-ray player doesn't seem to cost Microsoft anything. Otherwise, the Xbox One S would have been a higher price. Now keep in mind the base price for the Xbox One base model was $300 and they were having sales all over for two years at like $250. But basically the Xbox One S and the Xbox One were priced at the same $300. Now let's compare that to the PS4 Pro. Sony waited three years, came out with the Pro. What did they do? Well, they left the CPU the same other than overclocking it, which doesn't cost any money. And they upgraded to a new GPU that was more powerful so they could get that 1800p checkerboarding 4K. Scorpio kind of did the same thing. They took the original chip and instead of overclocking it, they did some redesign on it. But they did put a bigger GPU in like the PS4 Pro did. So since Microsoft waited an entire year past the Pro release to come up with the Scorpio, there's no reason, now that I'm looking at it, there's no reason for the Xbox Scorpio to price above $400. Now remember, last year Xbox One S came out with two models, the one terabyte and the two terabyte. The two terabyte model sold for 400 bucks, the one terabyte for 300 bucks. It's crazy to think about Microsoft having an Xbox One S, which is basically a 900p 4K Blu-ray console for $300, and then having a second model called the Xbox whatever that actually does native 4K for $400. I tried to break it out by PC parts. I went by wholesale and retail markup and I came at that $500 price every time. I also tried doing a power difference between the Pro and what Scorpio is supposed to do, and I did a price model based on that. I came back to $500. And probably the third reason why I kept saying $500 was to <laughs> protect, protect myself when the Xbox Scorpio is announced at $500 or a little bit less. I never once thought the Scorpio would be a $600 console, and it's totally crazy for people to say that the Scorpio would be an $800 console. Now, another really good point that was brought up, I was listening to Crossfire podcast last night, and I kept hearing this talk about Microsoft taking the Scorpio at a loss. And I've talked about how the Xbox One was sold for about $24 per console at a profit over the past three or four years. And PS4 was sold at an $18 profit over that time. Microsoft is so far behind in sales against the PS4 that I'm really starting to believe that they could take that $24 markup that they've been getting and level it out to zero. Microsoft won't break out the numbers for how many gamers are playing on Xbox Live on Xbox One and paying for the gold subscription. But I have to wonder if they are very close to PS4. Sony said that 27 million gamers are paying for PS Plus with 60 million PS4s out there in the market. Those aren't very good numbers, but that kind of revenue stream is good for Sony and they can use that for marketing deals or game development studios. This is the same thing that Microsoft is doing with Xbox Live. So now we have to wonder, should Microsoft look at that revenue stream and see if they can offset it by selling the Scorpio at a 0% profit margin? Does Microsoft think they're going to catch up to PS4? No. Does Colt Eastwood think they're going to catch up to PS4? No. Does everyone else that I talked to think they're going to catch up? No. But Microsoft's in this position where they're going to get so buried by Sony. They're already being buried right now by Sony's marketing deals. If you watch the reveal for Far Cry 5, they make it look like PC and Xbox One don't even exist. Now this is very, very smart. And with sales being so far over the Xbox, Sony is already in a position to totally bury their competition 
Everybody keeps talking about that mic drop moment of Microsoft announcing the Scorpio at $400, and I'm starting to believe it. We keep speculating that the PS4 Pro will take a drop down to 350 bucks, but they actually don't need to do that. So tell me, what do you think? Do you really think it's going to be $400? Do you think they're going to go in between and hit $449? Or are you staying with $500? And if you're super stubborn, are you staying with that $800 price tag or that $700 price tag? The more I look at it, I just can't see it being any more than $400. All right, this is Cold Eastwood. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, and if you need some entertainment, go back to my past few videos and check out the comment section. There's a bunch of people who are super pissed. I don't know. I'm just trying to sound fair, I guess. Uh, one of the things that I've been doing on my channel is to look at games uh, like frugally. I was like, should I call myself Cold Eastwood, the frugal gamer? But I like to look at how things cost and what the value is and I just find it strange that people get so upset about a $60 a year fee. Like I said, you shouldn't have to pay for online, but is it really worth it to write in all caps if you're a PC gamer and you're going to yell at other console gamers for paying $60 a year? I don't know. I think maybe they just use that argument to say, yeah, our PCs may cost a little bit more, but your Xbox Live subscription, you know, evens the playing field. And I try to emphasize that we all have preferences. If you have a preference, put it down in the comment section. I will see you guys next week.